What's good, family? Today is Monday. Oh my goodness, summer is here, guys. It was raining this morning, but now it's just beautiful. The sun is out. It looks amazing. Sure is. This is the 4th of July week. I get Friday off. So you already know we're going to turn up again. <laughs> the party just don't stop. We're going to do a little something, something. I'm not sure. Um, probably going to be with Uncle D for July. I'm not sure the rest of the weekend what we're going to do. But I definitely want to um, do something fun because it's going to be hot. We're going to take the van out. And we're going to try to get something, you know what I mean? Um, exciting. Been waiting all year long for summer. Summer is here. Now we ain't got no school. I'm not sure if he want to go with us and hang out or he want to stay home and chat with his boys, right? What do you got, my babe? I don't know. It's going to be a nice weekend, I'm sure. I want to be by the water. You want to be by the water? Mm -hmm. All right. I want to whip up something real good. Cook something. Yes. Just relax by the water. Maybe go by the lake, the beach. Definitely um, need that. I'll probably want, I might want to bring the paddle board out. I want to bring something out. We can, that. you know, grab some food. That way we don't spend a lot of time cooking and then enjoying mm -hmm. the day. We got to start using the van, guys, and it's trying to prep you guys, trying to show you guys that we do cook. We just don't eat out. We do cook. Mama Jones in the is in the kitchen whipping I be up throwing something. It down. So mm -hmm. you know what I mean. It's just like we're gonna put it to good use. Um, it's gonna be fun. Pernell, do you want to come out with us yeah. this this weekend? Yeah. You have to. How about Fourth of July? Yeah. Not even. Whatever. You're such a liar, Pernell. Pernell. Pernell, why do you sound like that? No. Son, you all right? So damn annoying. Excuse damn. me. Pernell. You're on camera. You better watch your damn mouth. That's disrespectful. You better watch your mouth, boy. How am I annoying? Damn, boy. That's, That's rude. fine. We can just leave y'all home. Wow, then. teenagers coming out of here. All right, room. so you're gonna stay home with your grandma. Don't call what me. What all about pick whining you up? and stuff? You be doing, you be crying. You're gonna regret Do it because now you just turn her. Now give me your phone, my boy. You be just be acting. Up. You be acting up. Wow, we're gonna talk to you. Anyways, so yeah, we're gonna go to the. Somewhere by the water. It'll be a surprise. How about that? Show the, show the world this little turd beat. It sounded like... <laughs> you want to be like a little turd? That's what you want to do. But like I said, um, I'm fine with just me and my... Guys, to be honest, I'm fine with just me and my wife get, getting out and doing something. The kids are already grown. You know, I love my daughter, but she's in her own world. She's doing her own thing. She's hanging with friends. They have that age. So I'm like, we're not, we're not going to force nobody, right? We're not going to force no relationship or nothing. If you're going to be in our life, you're going to be in our life. It's just what it is. It doesn't matter who it is. We're still going to get out and create and have a good time. So I'm fine with just me and my wife. We'll, we'll figure it out. You know what I mean? Um, shoot, there's do. always something to do, right? So, so many places to visit here. I got a lot of stuff to bring out this year man i got a lot of outdoor stuff that i gotta put to use the bike and everything so we definitely get out so we gotta plan something asap i'm i'm not sure why you didn't plan anything for like i don't know why weekend. you didn't hey, you've been you did you, you the you said you're the planner coordinator whatever it is i am but you didn't give me any ideas we gotta get out champ we'll figure it out we, we always out. do a camper van so you know we can post up anywhere pretty much but we are um going to a Cambodian restaurant um, right now, guys. This is going to be a late lunch. Phnom Penh Noodle House. Phnom Penh Noodle House, guys. I haven't had a Cambodian, uh, what's it called? Um, I haven't went to a Cambodian restaurant in a hot minute. I used to go to the one in uh, Tacoma, me and my wife. What's that one called? I had a pip. I had a pip. That was so bomb. That was bomb, but, you it know, it just... Clear cycle the best fried catfish, papaya salad, fried rice. Oh, their catfish was fire. Yeah. Like I said, there's mm. so many restaurants out there that we can't... Not a lot of Cambodian restaurants, let's be clear. Well, I'm there's, just saying there's a restaurant that, you there's know... There's two that I know of, which is Sopan, which is by reservations only, and she's, like, booked out a couple weeks out already. 
Um, and then there's the Penumpe Muda House, who's been in business for over 30 years, I believe. They closed for a couple years, and they just reopened and uh, remodeled their space, or got a new space, but yeah, it's, it's pretty modern now. And I've been there once or twice a long time ago, about 20 years ago. So yeah, I mean, we really don't go out to eat a lot of Cambodian food because, you know, we cook it ourselves. But we want to go check it out and see what they have to offer. But I'm saying, like, there's a lot of options out there, right? You know, like, yeah, there's a lot of different that. So we're not going to be able to try it all. But I haven't tried. Like, we tried it in California, but, you know what I mean? Because Cambodian dish, mm -hmm. we can cook it ourselves and, you know, stuff like that. But it's good to get out there and support the culture, right? Mm -hmm. You know, Cambodian restaurant, like, we go eat pho. You know what I mean? Just support the business. So today's a day when we get out and support support the culture, right? Get yeah. some Cambodian food. Because I haven't had Cambodian food in a hot minute besides the one in California. So, uh, right through to the house. you know, I'm pretty sure they got something Oh, for I love me. the Jeet Jean. Yeah, we're going to oh, get out there. So, uh, right through to the house is fire. Mm -hmm. That's in Cerritos, California. Yeah. You guys in the area, you guys need to try their spot. They got rice plates, noodles. The best drinks. I love their coffee, their cracked coffee. It's like a mix. It's love like a mixture of like Cambodian, Vietnamese coffee. Um, similar ingredients, if not the same. Um, but I love their fried desserts, like their fried bread, their fried Chinese donuts, their fried bananas. Fried what? Bananas. Bananas. I love fried bananas. Yeah. I grew up eating those. Uh, I like those fried banana, but I like the small bananas. I don't like them yellow bananas. Nothing against it, just for me, I don't like it. I like the small green banana. The those Thai my, bananas. Those are my type. Those are my type, babe. The Thai bananas is what he's what referring it's called? to. Yeah. Okay. He doesn't like them green. Green would be considered like the plantain type of flavor. But yeah, he likes them when they're yellow and sweet, and then you mash them up and then you deep fry them. Deep frying. He doesn't like well, the, the thing is, everything you know. deep fried is good, so it don't oh, matter. Of like... course, <laughs> deep fried taro is bomb. I grew up eating that, you know. Um, Man, yeah, but anyways, I got to lay off. We got to lay off the fried food. That's gonna be my goal. I like I'm gonna do yeah, what I fried food the other day. I'm gonna do what I'm doing. I'm gonna do what I do this year, guy. Yeah, but next year I'm really gotta I gotta cut it out. I got I really do. do. Yeah, I mean it's just not good because I'm just fried up, man. It's you look fried up. It's not nice, babe. <laughs> That's not something you said to your you husband. You said you were fried up, so and I said you look fried up. Okay. How you feeling today? Good. Boy, you want to keep it down back there? The weather's beautiful. It is beautiful. I want to get some good coffee today. You do? Mm -hmm. From where? There's an Asian coffee shop in the area. I know you like ube. So. She feel like the only way that she can get coffee is try to bribe me guys and go, they got ube, babe. They got yeah, this. Am I so, wrong, though? Uh, so I won't say anything like, cause I try to tell her, babe, cut down drinking coffee. It's not that good for you. Have the balance, but she feel like they need to say like, hey, babe, nigga, Uber, get you the Uber to make me feel. I mean, good. why not? I know he wants to try it out. <laughs> I think about him too. It's just me being thoughtful. Sure. You yes. sure, honey? Whatever you say. Your hands are so sweaty. So guys, hopefully, I, um, hopefully I can uh, drop off the gift for Hello Chula guy. That was a plan. I'm kind of bummed out that I didn't, I didn't get the chance to give him that night for the um, the show, the one die show, guys, because, um, you know what I mean? We were Everybody busy. Was busy. Ready. You know, I thought, I thought, I actually thought Hello Chile was, like, lit, right? Like, he, but he was actually, hey, man, shout out to Hello Chile. I don't know how he does it, man. That boy stay lit, but he stay posted. He, he's alert. He know what's going on, man. Shout out to you, bro. How do you do it, man? <laughs> Damn. So I thought he was lit, right? So I didn't want to bother him after the uh, show. You know what I mean? And then um, he ended up texting me like, where you at? I'm like, oh, man. But I was already at Riverside eating some, you know, late night munchies with the family. But, um, you know what I mean? It kind of sucked. 
and he was he's busy and, and I and I get that so hopefully I can squeeze in a few minutes to give him the uh, gift before he take back before he go back home right so when did he fly back uh he told me I forgot I was kind of low mm. lit my damn self but you know yeah he's still in the city guys uh shout out to him man wow that's pretty dope. Yeah, everybody had a really great time. We had a great time. Fun. It was good to see everybody you know. there. It was probably one of the best concerts. Here. Best. Up in smoke concert. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, like I said, guys, I'm not really a concert guy like that. I do like to go to certain artists, right? It's got to make sense. I'm not going to Sexy Red, right? I'm not doing that. Have you ever been to a concert together? What? Have we ever been to a concert together? I'm, I think so, yeah. I can't remember which artist. But, you know, it just, the artist got to make sense, man. It was like, you know what I mean, um, Key Sweat, we went to Key Sweat. Oh, yeah, Key Sweat. You know what I mean, it's got to make this sense. This was better than you know that. I mean, Stevie B, it's got to make sense, you know. I'm not going to be just going to the concerts just to do it, right? I really got to, you know what I mean, love that artist, you know what I mean? Because, you know, because the thing is, certain concert. It's wow, you guys know that. You know what I mean? So it's like all concerts are all different. Yeah, well, they bring out different energy. Yeah, different type of energy. I mean, some of the energy might be too crazy, but it's just, it's gotta make sense. A lot of concerts though coming up. We got Chris Brown, Chris Brown coming up. Chris Brown? We're going to Chris mm-hmm. Brown? No, but oh, like that's up. coming up this month. It is this month. Oh, really? Would you? And that's in Seattle. These are like old local concerts. Would you? Would you do a Chris Brown? Mm, I don't know. It's such a big venue. See, to me, to I be don't honest, like big venues. See, to me, it's like I like Chris Brown. He's dope. But as far as like me going to a concert, probably not. Right? Maybe like. I like Chris Brown, but maybe that's not my type. You know what I mean? I'm not going to be like, you know what I mean? It just, he's cool, but I, I, can see, I can really see myself doing it, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. It's just, I don't like concerts in big venues, so Showbox at Soto was just perfect. You know, it was big enough, but it wasn't, like, massive, you know what I mean? And I do agree with my wife because she said, big venue. I mean, it's cool, but it's just bizarre. You don't you know. You can't what's, really even see the artist. It's, you, it's, not, really you don't know what's seat. going. You don't know what's going just on. People's wow. It's just so many things going on. It's crazy, right? It's one of the like. It's a lot going on with big venue. It's cool to me wrong, but it's just so much going on. You know, food, drink, bathroom. It's just stuff that's everywhere, and it's just hard to. Um, you know what I mean? I've been to a few. It's not easy. I'm more with the, well, like my wife, a little smaller venue. You know what I mean? It's more like personal. So I, I like that. I like that a lot better, right? Mm-hmm. That was cool. It was good. It's good outcome. It was so lovely. What was your highlight? A what? In the concert. Um, probably the meet and greet because I really I never done a meet and greet before and to be able to uh, take a picture and see them in person and you know what I mean so like that I, th- mm-hmm. I, th- I thought that was really dope as a fan I like you know what I mean because I do appreciate the music and what uh, one is doing for the culture you know what I mean he, he, he got a voice and he's using it the right way so I definitely tip my hat to him for that yeah for him doing what he's doing for being that young and you know what I mean and just he's he seems real humble him and Van Tan both seem really humble and good people man so I that's why I wanted to go and you know what I mean and do the show right it's all about the energy and everything so to me I feel like that was the highlight of just doing the meet and greet I'm very glad I did it and you know what I mean it's, a, it's part of the journey mm-hmm. and I was able to do that and first time in the U.S. beautiful you know what I mean? How about you? Yeah, I would say the meet and greet uh, was it for me. And when Van Tan was, perf- you know, playing his instruments, I love it when he plays his instruments. Yeah, he's really dope. He is an amazing, talented artist. Yeah. Um, but he's very big, you know, on the instrument side of the musical part. And 
those instrument notes just hit so different and it was just such an uplifting beat harmony it just felt good and then you throw in banda's voice and they start you know they, they feed off each other's energy and it was just nice to see that I think Vanda and Wanton together is a dangerous collabo. And I'm duo. so happy. A dangerous duo ever. Like, I think it can only get better from now. You know what I mean? Like, oh my goodness. Like, they're so talented. Mm-hmm. Them together, unstoppable. And yeah, I'm glad they you know. were. I'm glad they picked the venue here in Seattle, not yeah. hometown. Oh man, it was that like. That was it, perfect. Like I said, guys, it had to make sense, right? If it was in sense. a different state, we would have to fly out again. In a different state, Woo. we would have to think about it, right? Like, should we money. do it? You know what I mean? But the fact that it was in the city, it was only right that we had to do what we do and just go support and represent for the culture, man. You know what I mean? I'm so happy that I got out there and do it, man. It's, um, it's, it's, it was fun, man. Really fun. What a way to uh, start the summer, I'll tell you that. Mm-hmm. What a way to start the summer, man. Summer is not long in, in Washington. But we got a good start, and we're going to finish the year off strong. Best believe it's the Bobby Jones Show. It's up. Let's go. All right, guys, so oh, we're on the way. Late. It gave us a shortcut to the um, Phnom Penh restaurant. I seen this right here. My wife's like, let's just stop by here and grab some because she did want some coffee. So let's just see what it do. Is that Green Lake over there? Duh, babe. Oh, okay, I know where we're at. Are you serious? Espresso. This girl be acting all lost, y'all. That is that is Green Lake right there, guys. It's got the little park. Not oh, bad at all. Window. We can actually go inside. Let's see what they got. It is a nice, beautiful day. It feels like Sunday. I don't know why, but it feels like Sunday. It is Monday. It's nice in the city, guys. Oh, this is chocolate. How are you both? How are you doing? Doing well. Oh, I want to try. I Oh, they got chocolate over here, y'all. Oh. They make it. Ooh, we gotta try the chocolate. Sea salt caramel. Ooh. Nice sure. little uh, coffee shop over here, guys. For your mocha, do you guys use like a... Um, yeah, me. A powder or like cage. a house salt? The hot ones, I use milk chocolate. Oh. The ice ones, I have to use the powder. Oh. I just want to go with the frozen one, and then I uh-huh. use milk chocolate. Oh, wow. Sounds like great option. I'm going to do I these. Do Could I get four shots, please? Yeah. you want one for cream? Yes. And then how many syrup pumps you put in there? I don't have a pump, I kind of squeeze. I'm oh. Like, I kind of want me a um, Normally, is it like just a good ginger amount of sweetness? Wasabi. Right. Ginger wasabi? Oh yeah, white chocolate too. Up, guys. Yeah. Can I get a half a scoop of white chocolate powder in there? Ginger wasabi And then right the there. salted That's caramel. Fine. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're pricey. How is that ginger wasabi chocolate? Is that pretty good? It is pretty good. It's not hot though. Oh, that it's sounds. Not like a background flavor. Okay. Uh, champagne truffle. Chocolate looks like good. I want to try the. What do you recommend, sir, for the chocolate? What do you like, spicy or fruity? Um, you said spicy or fruity, huh? Um, yeah. I I like dark chocolate. You like dark chocolate? Yeah. I like the cherry burgundy and dark. I like the coke tea where which is nutmeg and dark. Mm. Um, With a Kahlua truffle. They got cayenne. Oh, they have that. I like the sea salt caramel and dark. I like the candy ginger. The fig is really good. The chocolate dip, Turkish fig. Do you like Baelish Irish cream, babe? Huh? Baelish Irish cream. Mm. He has a caramel apple truffle. I'm asking that too. What are you about to get? We can just eat half each, right? Uh, yeah, let me try the, the ginger wasabi. I want ginger wasabi and um, caramel. Caramel apple sounds pretty cool too, but, but um, sea salt vanilla truffle. 
bittersweet, Thai truffle. Put that over there in the corner. You know what, the strawberry... With pecan, pink. caramel, dark? Oh, yeah, get that, yeah. Pecan, caramel, dark. This is dessert, guys. These are caramel milk. Um, lunch. This is the dessert. And we're gonna try it right now. I get now. a Baileyish cream, Bailey cream. Yeah. And then that's all. Grab some food and kind of just hang out. It's yeah. a beautiful day. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's just like Sunday. How's your day, sir? Going well. You know what? You got a beautiful view right there. I do. <laughs> that was awesome. It's always there. Just that was awesome. I like it. How long you been here for? Uh, 12 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice. Down there. Right on. That's pretty nice. I like it over here. It's so relaxing and chill. You know what I mean? You can go for a walk and beautiful. Yeah. I've been there a few times. I love it. I, I enjoy it over here as well. It's, gotcha. It's a great place to be. Thank you. You have a good day, sir. Take it easy. You the same. Yeah. Coffee's yummy. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Until next time. Yes. Have a good day. Not bad. All right. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all, y'all. What are you giving it? I give that a nine. Mm -hmm. It got to be a little more colder, though. Mm -hmm. I don't like warm coffee, guys. I would yeah, do it, I though. Need, I'm going to add more I'm more ice. of an iced coffee type of guy. It's just what it is. Right? Ice, ice, baby. All right, we're going to head to the, um, we're going to head to the restaurant, guys. But sometimes you just got to pop out. And just and grab look, traffic whatever. isn't that bad now. Sometimes you just gotta pop out and just grab something, right? You see something, pop out and grab it. Usually I'm like, nah, babe. But you know, I try to be more open, guys. Can we try one? Yeah, let's do it. All right, guys, we're gonna sample these um, chocolates that we purchased. So my husband loves the dark chocolate, and he loves pecans, and he loves caramel. So this is a great combination of what he likes. It's called the dark chocolate pecan truffle. So I'll take the first bite. All right, mm. go ahead, babe. Hmm. Hold on, I got my grill on. Oh. You got first. What do you think? I didn't realize that. Right. <laughs> you got your grill on. Hmm. All right. What'd it do? What's not that sweet? What'd it do? I like it. I get it? Mm-hmm. Hey, it's still holding my mouth. Yeah, well, it's a half a truffle. It's really not that sweet. It's like perfect sweetness. I, like I love it. that. I like it. Mm hmm. Wow. I would say that's a nine. Okay, this is the Bailey, Bailey's Irish Cream Truffle. Mmm. I'll give you a big one. Here, yeah. do what you want to do with that one. Mm hmm Again, not too sweet. Mm. This is dangerous. I love that it's not too sweet, guys. It, is, is, it, sweet. Is, it is pricey, though. Mm-hmm. $1.85 for one. I mean, reasonable compared to C's candy. C's candies is pricey, but... Mm. Okay, what do you think about the sweetness? Good balance, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is dark chocolate, sea salt. Dark yeah, let me chocolate, get a napkin back there. Caramel. Town behind your back. Behind your back. Back, back, back. Look behind your back. Behind you. Mmm. 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 You like this one? I will. Mm -hmm. What is this? Dark. Chocolate caramel. Dark chocolate caramel. Caramel is mine. Now, do you want to try some truffle? Of course not. Did you want it or not? No. Okay. Oh, this is your wasabi one. Well, did that what? one last? You know what? The candy is not bad at all, guys. It's good. It got a good little flavor to it. Uh, what's the place called? The Cho Chocolate. Chocolate. Go check it out. Um, 
Mm. The gentleman's very um, nice. You know what I mean? Chocolate latte and green light. Um, good service, friendly. You know what I mean? Um, y'all was, saw the video. Yeah, I mean, he's y'all saw the video. He's, he's nice. He's, he's a been little, in business for 12 years. 12 years. Uh, shout outs to him. You know what I mean? And He's just holding down just, the fort. Just holding it down. You know what I mean? And he served great. Uh, coffee and Coffee's tea bomb. and little sweet treat, little mm-hmm. sandwich. You know what I mean? It's just a oh, little, they sell sandwiches there too. They did, you know what I mean? So it's not bad at all. Yeah, good location. You know what I mean? For, like I, said, I mean, it's awesome. For it to be across the park. For, for, for it to be the 12 years, he's doing something right. You know, he must be the owner. I'm not really sure. Who knows? But whatever, okay. still good, still dope. Go check it out. Got three Chocolate. left. Which one do you next? Okay, Caramel right apple. Which mm-hmm. one's that? Caramel apple. Ooh, wait. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is our, this is our dessert, guys. Mm-hmm. We didn't eat, we didn't eat lunch yet. Whatever. We're hungry. Dude, the chocolate's freaking bomb. Like this ain't freaking sweet, sweet. I'm not even kidding you. It's good. Like this is really good quality candy. Mm-hmm. Like it's not super sweet. It's just a. It's just a good balance of it. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, because you know, like, when you buy into a certain candy, like, it just But you're like, oh, yeah, I can't eat no more of that. Like, no. Mm -mm. And you feel guilty, right? Mm Mm-hmm. And you feel guilty, you shouldn't do it. So, I mean, a certain thing. Oh, shit. Also, you get sick. You know, you feel sick when you eat too much candy, too much sugar, too much sweet. But, like I said, we already killed, like, what? Four pieces already? And we're like still going. And the good thing is we're sharing, guys. Me and my wife, we're trying to share because we don't want to overeat. Honestly, these are big chocolates. There's so. going to be time where I don't want to share with my wife. It just depends. It just depends on the certain food, whatever it is, right? If I'm like super duper hungry, if it's something that I know that I'm going to like, mm-hmm. I don't want to share. It's just what it is, right? Mm-hmm. But something like this, I don't mind sharing. Sea salt caramel. I'm pretty sure she feel the same way. Mm-hmm. There's sometimes you don't want to share with your partner. Do you guys agree? But we've been sharing all the time, though. There's some that we like. Mm. Like it was, like it was my favorite. But food. look how big these truffles are. I mean, how could you not mm. share? They're hella big. Mm. Like, you oh, can what, even what share that? with what? The that was one. a sea salt caramel. Mm. Sea salt. All right, this is the the crazy ginger one. wasabi. I'm yeah, scared. I had to try that. I'm scared of this one. It has sesame seeds on there. Ginger wasabi, y'all. You know, I like trying new things. That kind of caught my eyes. What do you look think? Look at that. I have to look how big it is still. What do you think? Hmm? What do you think? Mm. Like it tight? Mm. Think outside the box now. Not bad. Ginger wasabi guy. I hardly taste the wasabi. Just a little bit. Mm, Good well, balance. It's not bad at all. Good balance. Mm-hmm. I definitely taste the. the you, get the, you, get, you get taste a little bit of the wasabi. The sesame tastes good with it. I'm not gonna lie. Sesame with this right here, this is not bad. But what it is, wow. Okay, dude. If he if he had his shot close to me, oh yeah, I'll be there once a week. You know what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm giving the candy. To be honest, it might be a nine and a half, ten. I give it a ten. I give it a ten too. I'm sorry. I, there's nothing. There's okay. nothing I can say that, that's bad about Chocolate it. Chocolate latte cafe. Like every single one of them was legit. It's like you know, like you, you get certain ones. You're like, ah, that one's okay. I like this one better. They all taste equal almost. You know what I mean? It's like hella bomb. Even the ginger wasabi. It's like all right, cool. Like if you eat a whole Snicker bar, you'd be like, mm. oh wow, I'm done. Mm. That's just way too much chocolate. That's just too sweet. This, I we could probably still keep going. I mean, he had a lot of other flavors there, but that was good. it was good. It's just like after you eat these candies, you don't feel bad, you don't feel guilty. Oh, wow, I mean, the coffee is not bad. It was those shadows mm-hmm. to um, chocolate. I'm glad we stopped there, babe. It was me, right? It wasn't you. I mean, you did notice. I said chocolate, it, I said chocolate and then I was like, ooh, chocolate. But you're the one that said when to stop. So I was like, hey, maybe chocolate latte because she wants some coffee. But you know, I'm only going what I see, right? The energy, the energy was telling me, like, I look at it, I go, hey, babe, you know what I mean? And it's just what it is. And I look at the menu real quick, and I said, what, they got chocolates? Yeah. Okay, so why not? Let's go check it out. it worked out. It'd and be a now, good spot to make content. And now the thing is, right, so if we're in the area, we can grab coffee, right? So to me, I love trying oh, yeah. new things, you know? I'm, I'm definitely like, going to come back. I love trying new things because she likes to drink coffee, and there's time where she's like, 
that's no good. You know what I mean? And she and she'll I, throw it away. She don't yeah. like it. It's hard to satisfy my wife with coffee because she's a big coffee drinker. This time she's like, ah, ah, ah. she's so picky with her coffee. And it's nice to be in the area. We're like, all right, let's go to let's go to chocolate because you had it before and it's good. So, no, definitely, because she likes mercury. There's only a few that she messed with, and um, that there was not bad at all. I'm glad it that, was um, good. I'm glad um, we were. I'm able glad to, we stopped um, by, so now some. we know. I'm glad that we were able to try something different. We're gonna come and back, it, and it worked, right? Mm -hmm. It's one of them things, right? It could have been bad. It could have been like, oh my god, chocolate is too sweet. Mm -hmm. The coffee is da da da. You know, it could have been but bad. Let me say something though. When I read a coffee menu, this is just my opinion, and they have house made syrup, I know the coffee's gonna be bomb. When that coffee shop has house made syrup, you know it's fire because you know why? They take the time to make their own syrup instead of buying the you know commercial brand syrup out there which is easier quicker but when they make their own service i'm a big fan of that so yeah when i saw that menu i'm like all right i wasn't gonna think about getting the coffee because we already decided to get coffee somewhere else but when i saw that they had the house meat service i'm like oh yeah i'm there oh yeah yeah now for me i love trying new places because like i said you never know what you're gonna get and it don't hurt to try right and that's the thing about it, right? So we might try this place. Oh, I didn't tell you guys what I ordered. Yeah. I ordered a white chocolate sea salt caramel Americano. Usually I get it without water and I forgot to tell him he was so quick at making it already. But, um, and get more ice. But this coffee has uh, the white chocolate powder and the caramel sauce he makes. And then he whips it with four shots. So I get four shots. And it's just a good balance. But I wish there was more ice. Yeah, the ice already, is already yeah, melted, melted and it's not super icy yeah. cold. And we like our drinks icy. Yeah. But, but yeah. besides that, like I said, it's it's, it's good. good. It's worth it. It's not. You know what I mean? The the bad thing is right, and you spend all the money right, and it's just like you're not satisfied, right? That's the worst thing to me. I don't mind spending the money if I'm satisfied. You know what I mean? It's just what it is. There are times where you spend the money and you're not satisfied, you spend a lot of money and you're not satisfied, that's the worst. Cause you're like, man, I spent all this money. It's just, I mean, you know what I mean? So to me, it's like, like for example, I think STK, that was kind of overpriced. For the, uh, way for the, overpriced. For the fish and chips, you know what I mean? I get it, but it is what it is. That bone marrow cost me But much. the best thing was the bone marrow that my wife got with this, with the bread. Ooh, I want her to make that. That there, um, Hold up, I need you guys to leave a comment too about bone marrow. Is it? I said that I'm plant based, right? That's animal. So is a bone marrow um, no it's, good? Well, it's not because it's not within your diet. But it's not meat though, right? It's, it's part of the animal. It's, it is part of the animal. It's the nutrients from the animal's bone. I'll go straight on. It is part of the animal, you said? It is. But it's what is it, though? It's just all the goodies in the bone. Oh, it's just a bone. It's inside the bone. Oh. Oh. So bone marrow, bone broth, like, you it know. It is. It took me a minute, guys. Sometimes I just got to, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, what is bone marrow? So it's just the bone. I would call it like the, I would say like a beef butter. So mm. bone marrow, where is it? What, what bone is it? I don't know what kind of bone, but it's from a cow. Oh, wow. Man. So it's, it's like very wow. creamy. See, that it's like there is. Bug, bug. Yeah. Bug, wah. Something like that. It's like the butter of the freaking cow. You know what, guys? I got to chill. Bobby Joe need to chill. I'm already drinking. I don't want to get back to eating meat again. Getting all excited about bone marrow. This can't happen. This cannot happen. I can't slowly work my way up. The next thing you know, it's like a filet mignon, right? <laughs> um, I can't do that. Are we by? It was good, though. I, I did have that bone marrow last week, but I don't know. I just... But I feel like it's just not beef. You know what I'm saying? I don't like... Because it's not the meat yeah, part. Yeah, you know I mean, so I feel like I feel but like it is part of the I animal. feel like I can slide. You know what I mean? Like bypass it. You know what I mean? It's like eating duck fat, I guess, but not really. 
It's from the bone. But I did have frog legs on the cruise. That's what we said. You're slowly, like, trying out different things. You know what I mean? I thought, I mean, yeah. You're no. trying things that you've never tried before, meat-wise, animal base wise like frog legs and bone marrow. You was never a fan of bone marrow. I was never. You were like, ew, what's that? Until I had that one on the bread. That was pretty delicious. Bone marrow's good. Just, like, bone broth. Like, I heard there's, like, really good benefits to consuming this that part that of the mar- animal. That bone marrow we had yesterday at the fry was like... That was nasty. I ain't gonna lie. So, pho bought sup shop in Rainier. Like, their pho was good, but we ordered f- some kind of bone marrow fries, but it tastes really gamey because they mixed it with pate. pate oh, like that's what it was. Okay. I thought it was just bone marrow. Yeah, they can't be doing that. I knew I'd taste something So, different. I didn't even taste any bone marrow. Is that, I taste st- is that stuff they put in the freaking bun me? Yes. So that's all I tasted was the pate. So they probably put a little bit of the bone marrow in there because I didn't really taste much of that. And I was just kind of, I was disappointed. I don't know how that was still on their menu. Yeah, the fry was not. The, that was just The fry was not gross. the business. To, to me, that was not a good, yeah. Appetizer. That was not good at all. You know, there there's like the tallow, beef tallow fries. It's where, you know, we had that before. Is where they toss the fries in beef tallow. So beef tallow is kind of like beef fat, you know? Because they're saying now that, you know, obviously seed oils are bad, but animal fat is better. I don't know, it's so weird, you know. Before it was like, oh, high cholesterol, you would eat animal fat. But I guess our body break it down easier versus then breaking down the seed oils, right? Anyway, so they're now making tallow, you know, getting the tallow from the beef. And they toss it in the fry. So that's what I was kind of thinking of when they said beef, beef marrow or bone marrow fries. That's what I was thinking, that they're going to toss it in some bone marrow goodies, and then, ooh, that would have been fire, though. They'd get that kind of concept with, like, a truffle fries. Oh, my gosh, you guys, all the foodies out there. How would that sound like, or would you, you know, would that even be, like, a good dish? What? Um, bone marrow truffle fries. It sounds crazy, but I think it, I think it, would, I think it can work. I think if you, if you get the right kind of fries, and you make the bone marrow right... Season everything, yeah, it can go great. Mm, I, mean, I just, think that'll be bomb. Mix that bone marrow just, with the truffle oil, drill that shit up with the fries, toss it up with some Parmesan cheese, um, oh, some greens. What kind of greens did they put in there? Some, some this thing is this thing ain't Parmesan, work. no, some parsley. This thing ain't work. The next life. We in downtown Seattle, guys. Um, first air. So the restaurant is down here in Chinatown area. I think I've been there one time a long time ago, guys. Well, this is Pioneer Square. Huh? This is Pioneer Square. Oh, it's over there, babe. Same thing, yeah. Jacksonville. Close. Because usually this would look pretty ghetto. Kind of creepy. We in the city. Fat. There's a restaurant called Fat. It's a little chilly because they're by the water. What the fuck's that? Downtown Seattle. Alright, guys. We just pulled up. I'm not even gonna lie. It's so sketchy over here. I'm parked right there. Um, let's hurry up and get inside the restaurant because I don't feel safe sometimes. Let's go run. Why is he not? All right, guys. Ooh. Can you sit down, babe? Huh? Can you sit down? Sit anywhere. How you know? She just said so. Oh, OK. All right. Oh, pretty, you got pretty big tables over here. It's sticky? Yeah. It's sticky. Oh. What? Uh, they're all sticky. Hey, how you doing? Hi, good. How are you doing today? Good. Okay. Alright okay. uh, guys, so this, I think this is the first time over here at this place, right? This is a new one. 
we haven't been, I haven't been in a hot minute, to be honest. But let's see what it do. Let's get curry muscles, right? Or um, not? Yeah. Let's get. Yeah. Let's get. You want to try that, recurry muscle? I'm used to you. I don't really care for muscles. Okay, don't get it then. Let's get the um. Long with you with fish. Okay. And let's get what else? Um, fried rice, by Lee. Fried rice. A pie salad. Yeah, I got that. And. I got by Lee. Oh, hold on. Or oh, a vegetarian, sorry. No, because I went to California too, the rice string, and they, they had it at Kamai View. They ran out too. It was crazy. Yeah, they usually will bring it up when they deliver to um, some like, local grocery stores. Uh -huh. They have it come up oh. and so I'll oh, so you guys just give it a look. Okay. Yeah, we'll okay. just kind of tag on to Easier, it. Easier, right? Because <laughs> right? otherwise they're not going to drive it. Oh, uh, I know. It's too small. Yes, you know? yes. It's I saw lot. that you guys had a cup of set. Did you guys still have that? Cup of set? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, they have that. Yeah, they have that. Cheers, babe. For now, cheers. Yeah. Cheers to the family. It's just a tree of us only. You're not even in the camera now. It's fine. He's kind of shining, babe. Right? Y'all, this is the veggie egg roll from Phnom Penh House. Get the little sweet and sour sauce right there. Let's see what it do. Dip right here, bro. You put a dip right here. What's that dip? Well, the sauce for the dip. Yeah. Here it's hot. Let me grab it. Move your. This is the psycho on, guys. The beef stick. For my son, for my wife. Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm. Great flavor. Pie salad, one of my wife's favorite dish right here. Let's see what that joint here about. Ten years old, he don't need he don't need you break up his meat. The boy's gonna be twenty one years old. He's gonna choke on his meat because he don't know how to eat, do his own food. You gotta stop. <laughs> she always trying to break his meat, y'all. Boy's almost thirteen years old, and she wonder why he's spoiled. Cheers, family. Mm. It's not bad. No. Maybe fire it was more spicier. Actually, a really good spread here that we got going on. Yeah. Careful. Good, thank you. Oh, wait. 
This is the um, salami chew you and they. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Pineapple, catfish, tomato. This is what you want right here, ladies and gentlemen. And, and, and then we got the fried rice, the crab fried rice. Look at that. That looks pretty good, y'all. You ask me. Let's get it. Oh my god, it's so fire. Let's try the rice. I got to try the fried rice. The fried rice look good, y'all. I've always been a big fan of fried rice. Since I was a little boy, it's always been fried rice, soy sauce, hot sauce, you name it. You know what I mean? Chinese sausage, paws. You know what I'm talking about. So far, everything has been hitting. Been hitting the spot. Because I had it at Riverside on Saturday night. Ooh, it was delicious. Okay, I like it. I like it. Tastes almost like mama. I like it. Okay, I can dig it. Wow. It's been a long time since I ate here. <clears throat> the first place, it was at their old location. All right. This soup is probably going to get a 10, to be honest. Mm. Oh, wait. That's good stuff. Mm. I can say that I'm satisfied. Are you splitting stuff at me? You better get dropped like a bad habit, but eat your rice. The stop making a damn mess. Bro, you better stop. Don't play with me, boy. You were flicking stuff over here, man. You better chill. Mm. Oh, that was hot. Yeah. You know what, guys? I like it. Food is delicious. Food is delicious. Let's give it a, a nine. Overall? Mm -hmm. Overall nine? Mm -hmm. You? I'll give it a nine, nine and a half. Good. I think um, fried rice is good, soup is good. Um, let's try this one more time. The papaya salad. Delicious. Not bad at all. Mm. Yeah, I'm giving nine nine and a half to be honest. Just for just for what we order, like I said, there's a lot of there's a lot of dishes here. They got curry that I want to try, but I don't want to overeat and order a whole bunch of food, right? But I'd definitely be back. Mm. That's a lot of food. Yeah. What are you getting the, the beef stick? No, your mom. Nine. Huh? Nine. Nine? Mm -hmm. And you get the fried rice? Eight. The fried rice is a couple of hums. Eight. All right. How about the um, soup? Nine, nine and a half. It's pretty good. Which one's better, Riverside or this? Mm. That's Riverside. Really? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I like it here too. I was pretty buzzed at Riverside, so. Nothing. And there you guys I'm have cool. it, guys. This, like I said, come check it out. This is a Cambodian restaurant located in downtown Seattle, right by Chinatown. It's not, hard to, it's not hard to miss. It's actually in Chinatown. It is in Chinatown. Let's be clear. It is in Chinatown. Oh my god, I'm so full. This is crazy. 
That's very filling. She's giving a nine. I'm giving a nine, nine and a half. I mean, so what I order, right? Like I said, I don't eat the beef, so basically she's, she give it a nine. I mean, what are you giving the beef? Huh? The beef. Uh, eight. eight, so. Uh huh. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, this is our first time eating in a long time. The last time I ate here was like, well, it's your first location. Yeah, with my sister, I was like, before I had kids. And we live up in East Side, so it's hard to come by. So we were just like, okay, we're near, let's go try some kebabs food. Yeah. But yes, yeah, so delicious. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Well, for sure. I'll me. I'll go now. Thanks for the food. I'll yeah, good job. Yeah. Got to get the kids to work. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> I mean, I started when I was six. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. When my parents first opened, I didn't have childcare. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So then no. You gotta teach when they're young. If they don't, they're just not gonna know. You know what I mean? Like, whatever it is. Yeah. This generation is different. And how old are you? Yeah. How old are you? Yeah. Like your parents, they just look at you. They don't have to say nothing. Uh huh. Always like, you know, yeah. How yeah. I know. Was there a lot of Cambodian visitors yesterday? There was a oh, Cambodian yeah, concert. Uh, Banda, yeah. Oh, yeah, there was a lot. It was super packed on Saturday just because it yes. was like, oh, wow. out of town. Just yes. Just because they're like, let's make it a campfire. Yep, yeah, exactly. Yeah, let's have a concert. Let's have a concert. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you again. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Guys, Phnom Penh Nura. Phnom Penh Nura. Is it just Phnom Penh Nura? Phnom Penh Nura House. Phnom Penh Nura House, guys. Come check it out, come support. You know what I mean? They got good authentic Cambodian food. Very delicious. You guys, if you guys are curious about Cambodian food, this is what it is home. right here. Come check it out. You like beef, chicken, or pork? This is the spot. You're gonna be satisfied. You're gonna be satisfied. Can't even talk right. You know what I mean? But um, years old. What, well, somebody just got an accident right there. Oh, snap. Oh, with the Porsche. With the Porsche. That one's clean, I ain't gonna lie. I like that joint. That's the electric one. But yeah, yeah, um. You know what I mean? It's not a lot of Cambodian restaurants out here, but um, there are a few. Two or three in the area. Come check it out. Cause I know you guys are curious. Like, like I said, they got a lot of Vietnamese restaurants. They got Thai, a little bit of Laos, and a little bit of Cambodian. It's not a lot. But if you guys are curious, you guys want to try Cambodian food, right here at Phnom Penh Nuda House in downtown Seattle. I ain't gonna lie, guys. I do not like. I do not like coming down here. Somebody just kicked my car. What's that? What is that? It's been there. <laughs> there we go, young lady. I think that's when you spit. Hurry up, we ain't got time. Go, 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 go. Oh my god, I'm so stuffed. Dude. Man, downtown Seattle, I don't want to be standing around here. I'm so stuffed. Mess around and get snatched up around a boy. Oh my god. No. We're gonna go back home. What's good, guys? So, finally pulling up on Hella Chloe, man. It's been, um, it's been, it's been kind of hard, man. You know what I mean? Just schedule, schedule wise and everything, but, um, I gotta meet him up in, I gotta Quiet. meet him up in Tacoma. So we pulling up all the way in Tacoma. I done smashed. It took me an hour to come from up north. So it was all good, but we're gonna pull up pretty soon and um, give this special delivery. The Girl flowers. Said your is not connected. The flower, this the is gift. The username. So what do you wanna do? What this gotta username? be done. What's good, guys? So we in T-Town right now, Tacoma. We in the hood. We're meeting with Hella Chloe to give him his flowers, his gift. All right, let's get it. What's up, bro? Uh, I'm, I'm walking right now. I'm walking right now in the front. Uh, 
you're yeah, 571, right? Yes, sir. 571, yeah. Yeah, I'm right. I'm running. I'm running the front right now. You say you outside? Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right here, right here. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> hey, man. How you doing? What's good, my brother? Thanks for coming, man. Hey, man. <laughs> it's been a while. Hey, man. I just want. Yeah, I just want to say. I just want to say, bro. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. You know what I mean. I just want you to know that the Bobby Jones Show. We appreciate everything you. you know, for repping for the city, you did know what I'm saying? Though? You've been here for a long time. You the people's champ, bro. Man, you did know what I'm saying? Though? You've done so much. The kids, the adult, everybody love you. You know what I mean? Your energy of you is good. I appreciate what you've done for me. You did know what I'm saying? Showing the love and all that, man. That means a lot to me. So I just want to you know, give you your flowers. You did know what I'm saying? It's something. I hope you like it, bro. You know what I mean? And it, it's got to make sense. Everything's got to make sense. And I thought about you. I wanted to get you something nice. You were in the city. Wow. And you, you feel what I'm saying, on? And it's some shoes, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Can you guess what shoe this is? Nikes. 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 What kind of Nikes? You don't know. You don't know. I don't know. I don't have a particular style, but okay. I, like, I like shoes. Okay. This is it, this know? has got to make sense. Yeah. This has got to make sense because I got this. I'm like, hey, man, take the picture too. I, I don't even know. Okay. Go ahead, open this up, bro. Is it the Black Air Forces? No, it, it's, it's, it's not the Black Air Forces. Hold on. You've been watching you forever. Really? I love your skits. I'm, I'm stumbling upon I love your guys' <laughs> vlogs, too, on, 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 on my suggestions. I remember a moment when I was watching your videos. I was, like, at a doctor's appointment in the waiting area yeah. and just watching your skits of you pretending to be your dad. Like, oh, yeah. what did fathers be like? Oh, my God, I couldn't stop laughing my ass off. Yeah, like, that's growing up. Like, my dad was Yes. Like, it's so I relatable. Think all my skits are just like relatable content. Reenacting with my mm -hmm. dad and our, my older brothers, my uncles. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Thank you're you so, so on point with it. You know, so <laughs> relatable. It's not working. Like, go ahead, open it up. But yes. Yeah. So go ahead. Let me know. Right now? Yep. Let's go open it, bro. All right. I'm opening it. <laughs> what? The Cortez? Tell him yeah. about it. You know why? You know why I got that, right, bro? What is that slogan? Uh, Your famous slogan? Gang, eh? So it's gotta make sense. <laughs> yeah, I've always wanted Cortez as a bro, kid. Like, I'll everybody let, had it? Bro, one of my favorite shoes growing up was yeah. like a Cortez G9. You already know the G9, you know what I'm saying? So that makes fire. sense, bro. This and is this fire. is bro, man. Thank you. Appreciate you. Oh, Keep man. on being you. Keep on being real. You're original. You know what I'm saying? There's nobody like you, man. The love that you get that I see, bro, is so real. You're authentic. And uh, we rep, believe it or not, for C-Town, we rep you. Yeah. The Bobby Jones show is all about getting oh, back. Yeah, I didn't know you were from Seattle. So that's freaking awesome. Yeah, yeah. thank you so much, <laughs> man. I, I, I'm lost for words, man. No, like, for real, bro. Thank you. I, I, see a lot of, I see a lot of potential in you guys. I feel like vlogging, lifestyle, and I see you guys going vacation. I think yeah. Yeah, just keep going. No. Like, it's yeah. gonna, I see you going up. You just got monetized. That's, that's a big, uh, big step. It's like a, you know, like, you're going to... And just like like yeah, I say, living your life, and for, people will tune in for yeah. for you to recognize what I'm doing. That means a lot. Like I said, I used to watch a video. I know how hard it is. It, it, it is hard. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's no it joke. Takes, you know, time. It's yeah. time, yeah. man. And to see you keep on doing it, still here pushing. You know what inspiring is very yeah. inspiring. So it's inspiring me to do it, you know what I'm saying? and for you to recognize that. That means a lot. I mean, for you just even to repost my video. Thank you. You don't have to do that, but you did it for the love and your real. Love. You know what I'm saying? So to me, I felt that. I gotta show love to I, other, I, I, other I, my creators yeah, too. Yeah. I, I, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, and that's what it's all about, unity, right? Unity, and yeah. So this, this was what all about, you know what I mean? So to me, it's like, I feel like I, you know what I mean? So you don't love that. You know what I mean? It's what it is, you know what I'm saying? So we, we come on, we stick together. It's all like, you know what I mean? It's time for us, it's time for us to ride. Yes, you know what I'm saying? So, yes. but thank you once again, bro. I know you're busy. Like I said, man, I know this was real trying to get everything together. I, know, I, wanted to... To, I wanted to give you that night, right? But I thought you just blew a tip. Oh, man. I know we missed you. I didn't want to bother you, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you know what? You could have just found me in the parking lot, but like, I, I, I don't even remember how I got home. We just I, hopped in somebody's place. Exactly. Yeah. But, and, and then you text him, like, what? He's still up? I mean, I was up to seven, dude. Oh we drink even more at the Airbnb. <laughs> I'm like, how did we do that? Dang, y'all crazy. We went out to go to, uh, what's it called? Um, Riverside. Riverside. Mm -hmm. Riverside. Oh, really? Yeah, chill with the yeah. Best known for their Salami Chu Yoon. Yes. Yes. It was bomb. So she had their night of drinking. We're not going to take a picture of that. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're over here in Tacoma, waterfront. I just got done dropping off the little um, um, gift. 
for a hella slide. Um, we're just gonna walk around here, guys. Pretty dope over here, I like it. Definitely coming back here with the family. Slow vibe. The waterfront is beautiful. And they got like restaurant. Um, look at this. For the kids to play with. It looks beautiful. They got pizza joint right there. Apartment condos, whatever it is. This is a vibe over here. Pretty cool. Never been here. It looks pretty brand new. Modern. You know what I mean? When it's hot, have the kids run around, get wet. You ain't gonna beat that. Um, no, it feels really good, guys, to um, give Hello Slay's flower, man. He's so dope, man. You know what I mean? For real, man. It's a real one right there. That's a real one right there, man. You know what I mean? So, shout out to you, bro. Much love. Wishing you the best. And, um, you know what I mean? That's love, bro. Connection. We all connect for a reason. We all connect for a reason, brother. I'm not sure what wifey wants. I'm just gonna follow her. They got skateboard over here. They got a little bit of everything. Look, they got, they got street tacos up there. They got something out there, guys. All right. Oh, they got a little ice cream joint over here. She wants some ice cream.